One of the most preeminent contemporary artists of the Southwest, Ed Mel creates abstract panoramas of Western landscapes that are provocative, inspiring, and exciting. As my thoughts begin to stray. And I'm taking it, this is one of your newest pieces. Yes, this one is about a week old. In fact, it's still drying, and uh, it's re representative of the direction I'm going in right now. But I'm also paint in different directions at the same time. I have a more realistic style. And, and I started out with more modernist work, evolved into a realistic style my version of realism, I should say. And then I uh, have, uh, so now I'm working in all different arenas. That's fabulous. Well, show me a little bit in terms of your, what you see sure. realistic. Okay. Uh, the top paintings here are, are more representative of my version of reality, uh, where these bottom pieces are really representative of taking my modernist approach, like the big piece we looked at, and even abstracting it more. And with that, I can play with form and color. But you're very, very successful in terms of graphic design and working with big advertising firms in New York City and then having your own business. Right. And then you left it all and made the choice to come back and take the risk, which paid off very well for you, <laughs> uh, but to take the risk to come back into paint. How hard was that to make that decision? Well, it, it, was, a, it was hard, but you know, I had, a, I had a friend when I was in New York said, uh, Ed, how would you like to come and teach on the Hopi Reservation for a summer? So uh, going from the contrast of New York City to a village of 200 people on top of a mesa, and just and doing a lot of excursions and a lot of things with the, with the kids and stuff, I went, this is where it's at. Ed Mel's creativity isn't limited to canvas. His bronze sculptures explore form from a completely different perspective. His is an original voice in the world of art, and I know his work will continue to enrich our lives for many years to come. Mm -hmm.